Now, there's two or three reasons that you need to have the outline. I do a lot of things in here with technology, all right? In other words, bless you. I do a lot of things in here with technology. That means that I take care of several of your excuses. Number one thing the outline does, it gives you a template to put in your notebook or in your calendar if you wanted to put tentative dates. I don't put tentative dates because the only ones that dictate how fast we go, the only people is not me, it's you with sending in questions. See, you're, you're probably, this is probably the first class that you have ever been in where I don't take up homework, I don't check to make sure you copy the answers in the back of the book right, I don't give an in-class in test, I don't do all that busy work, okay? Why? Because that takes up eight to ten days that I could be what? Teaching. So therefore, you send me questions, and I go over them in class. I don't have office hours. I mean, I do have office hours, but nobody ever shows up, okay? Because I have a comfortable work environment. I have a comfortable learning environment. Because have you ever been in a classroom where you, <clears throat> in college, of course, where you sit through a whole hour and a half of listening to a teacher the first day and you don't even know the teacher's name at the end? You don't even know anything about them? That's the opposite. I'm the opposite. Now, the first day of class, I am a little bit stern. I want you to know that I am in charge of this universe, okay? I am the whatever of this universe, and we'll talk about that because I've been in class for over 25 years, 24 years. How many people do you think I've had to escort out of my classroom? Anybody want to take a guess? Ten. Wow, that's high. Three. You're off by one. Three people. Two had two males. They had overcompensation issues. And one girl, she was just a bitch. Okay? She was. I mean, you could not please her. I mean, there was no re there was no there was no pleasing her. JC could not please her, okay? And I just got tired of it and I told her to leave. And she had to go through the you know, change the command to get back into the classroom, and she did, but she acted fine after that, okay? So let me just say this. I try to have a comfortable learning environment. If you want to be a part of that environment, you, you follow my rules. If you don't, get the hell out, drop, go to another classroom, okay? And we'll get into that in my classroom courtesies. We get into that. So now, about the outline. Go ahead and write down chapters 1 and 2. You need to do now the reading. Chapters 1 and 2 is reading. So you can go ahead and start that today. Well, how do we know what to do? You read your freaking outline. Okay? Do we do 1.6? No, you do 1.1 through 1.5. You read the outline. The outline tells you what to do. What if I miss Wednesday? What if I miss Thursday? Well, if I go over 1.2, 1.3 today, then what do you think I'm going to go over Thursday? 1.4, 1.5. So the outline acts as a template for you to go by if you miss a day. Now, let me go ahead and go over one rule about me. If I have given you the information in documentation or by word of mouth and you ask that same question, am I going to reply to you? No. Okay? My boss knows that too. So you can go ahead and complain all you want to to my boss and say, well, he's not responding to my email. Well, the reason I'm not responding is I've already told you. And believe you me, if you have never been in college before, there are people that come to college that do not need to be in college. Now, I don't mean that in a derogatory ma manner. I mean it. You can tell them to turn to page 158, and five seconds after you tell them to turn to 158, what do they ask? What page? I mean, uh, there's some kind of synaptic, I don't know, retention thing going on or what. But there are some people that just go out of their way to make a teacher repeat themselves, and I'm not going to do it. Okay, so as of today, you have an outline to tell you if you miss a day. You have an outline to tell you what I went over. You can Skype in 
if you miss a day, and we'll talk about that. Or three, you can watch the video on my, on my YouTube channel. So there's three ways right there that you know what I cover. So therefore, you don't email me or text me saying, I was absent Thursday. Can you tell me what you went over? Am I going to reply? No. Okay? All right. So the outline is very important. I tell the students, the 90% of you that will print it out, some of you have already printed out, it goes in the inside of your notebook. It goes in three-ring binder. It goes in the front of your notebook. This is the most important page in the class. Okay? Now, you do need to write down this up here because it is a test question. And that's the only thing about the syllabus that's really important because the rest of it's for them people in Columbia to read. That right there, that's the test question. I ain't going to tell you which test question it is. There's two things there, but one of them's a test question. So make sure you know it. I will tell you right now that in my class, homework is 20% of your grade. My Labs Plus will calculate it, so you don't have to. Test and exam is 80%, so you can divide that out, five tests into 80 I don't know, what is it, like 16% each? So each one of your tests is about 16% test and exam. Everybody got that? So there's syllabus, handouts, most important. And you don't have to write that down. I mean, you got it in your email. And it's also on my Labs Plus. Okay, so that's the syllabus. So let's get out of that. Let's go to class courtesies. My number one rule, I treat students the way what? I want to be treated. And it works. It really does work because, like I said, in 24 years, I've only had to throw out three people. And they had issues. Most people don't have issues. Most people, okay? Uh, cell phones. I have a cell phone right here, and it goes off in class. Do y'all have a heart attack? No. Do I have a heart attack? No. When do I have a heart attack? Well, let me just ask you one question. Let's say that you have a homework question, and that homework question has four or five parts. And you come up to me at the end of class, and you ask me, I got this question, and it's got four or five parts. I don't understand. And right when you say I don't understand, I call somebody on my phone or I text somebody on my phone while you're talking. What is that? What? Annoying. Annoying. What else? It's rude. So what's the difference in me texting somebody while you're talking to me and you texting somebody while I'm talking to you? What's the difference? I treat students the way I want to be treated. You go against that, we're going to have problems. Now, what if? Well, I've got a seventh grader. I've got a junior at Clemson. You can't pronounce the P. If you pronounce the P, then you're a southern racist ignorant. So if you can't pronounce the P. you got to say it like the ESPN announcers. Clemson. You ever heard the ESPN announcers? They don't say Clemson. They say Clemson. Y'all have any idea what I'm talking about? Okay, some of you do. Okay, they won't say Clemson with a P. They'll say Clemson. They sound more stupid saying Clemson than they do saying Clemson. Anyway, I don't care. I'm a Georgia fan anyway. I got two degrees from Clemson. I don't care. I like Georgia. Anyway, I got a cell phone. I got a junior at Clemson. I got one at Robert Anderson, and I got a mother that's 80 years old, and she calls whenever she wants to. But when those three numbers hit my phone, I'm going to answer them. Why? Because if they call me and they know my schedule, then that means something's what? Wrong. If something, if you have an emergency, what do you do? You, pick, you get up. You don't say a word. You just get up quietly. You walk outside in the hallway, and you what? You answer. You text. You do whatever you need to in the hallway. Now, why is that so hard to do? 
I don't know. But remember, I treat you the way that uh, I treat students the way that I want to be treated. So if I do that with you, if I say, hold on just a minute, I've got to answer this, y'all take a break, I'm going to go outside and answer this. If I do that, then you do the same thing. Now you want to piss me off, start texting, oh, do this, hide it between your legs like I'm not going to know what you're doing. Okay? There's two things that really pisses off a teacher. Write these two things down. Insulting their intelligence and not paying attention in class. Okay? Because I'm going to tell each one of y'all a secret. If you knew this material, guess what? You wouldn't be in this class. Okay? If you knew the material, you would not be in this class. And I'll be glad to give anybody a test of the final exam, I'll give it to you tomorrow if you want to. I'll go ahead and get you the hell out of here if you think you know everything. Okay? Because every semester I have one person that created the subject that I'm teaching. Created it. Okay? So if you're one of those people, stay at home, Skype in, okay? And don't come to class. I pray you don't come to class. Because what you do, if you ever had one of those people in your classroom that speak out and tell that's a stupid question and, oh, God, I can't believe they asked that. Or, you know, blurts out answers all the time and they're usually wrong. What do they do to the classroom? Do they make it comfortable or uncomfortable? They make it uncomfortable. Okay? You may think you're cute. You may think you know everything. But the fact is... You're at Pendleton University, okay? All right? You're in Math 120, okay? You're not impressing anybody, okay? I just want to get that out to all those people that need that whatever you need, okay? I don't know what it is, self-esteem or what? I don't know. But it ain't going to work in here. Cell phones and texting, do it outside in the hallway. That's all I ask, Okay? This is not online class. I've already talked about that. I use technology so that you can ask questions in class. Believe it or not, there may be some of you that may ask a question because you don't know the material. Okay? I just want to make sure. Is there anybody in here that's going to have a problem in here so far? Anybody? Okay, because like I said, you can drop anytime you want. I'll let my, what, you said you had somebody talk, what did they say about the class? What was it? Probably sarcastic. Sarcastic, okay. Yeah, very sarcastic. Anybody else heard anything? Yes, no, maybe. Okay, you just don't want to talk. That's fine. Attendance policy. Attendance, I don't care, okay? I really don't care about attendance because... But I have to take it. I have to take it because of financial aid. Now, if you Skype in the class, I'll count that, but I have to see you. Don't be giving me no still screenshot, okay? you got to turn on the video. So, you know, and please, if you got a jealous husband or boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever, tell them what you're doing before. We had, <laughs> we had one woman Skype in one time, and I pray that woman is live today because I didn't see her after that Skype. It was awful. Man walked in and who the hell are you Skyping? Or who the hell are you talking to? And it went dead. And I was like, oh God. <laughs> self esteem issues. You know, all domestic violence can all be traced back down to self esteem issues. Pretty much. That's why it's always men beating up women. All right. Attendance policy be here, okay? I do not drop anyone unless somebody comes to me and says, drop this person. Write that down. I do not drop anyone unless somebody tells me to drop you. Now, what if you don't show up and take zeros for tests? Then that means you're going to get up failing grade. Well, I'm not going to drop you. Okay? Whose responsibility is, who, whose responsibility is it to drop a class? The teacher. I meant the student, not the teacher. Okay. 
my class is the following ideas, the following ideas, yeah, following theology or whatever, ideology or whatever. You work, you pass. You don't work, you don't pass. There ain't no socialism of grades in here, okay? All right? If you make 100, I'm not going to take 10 points off your 100 and give it to somebody that's got a 60. No, that ain't the way it works. I generalize when I speak. That goes to the sarcasm. All right? I generalize when I speak. Like I said, you have to have a sense of humor in my class. If you don't have a sense of humor, I hope you draw. I hope you get a sense of humor because that's what you need. Okay? Everybody needs a sense of humor. It's kind of like dreaming. If you don't dream, what happens? You go insane. If you don't, that's true. If you don't dream and have rapid eye movement, you pretty much go insane after about three or four weeks of not dreaming. All right? And same thing with a sense of humor. If you, if you don't have a sense of humor, you're going to be weaned on a pickle all your life. You know what weaned on a pickle is, right? Weaned on a lemon. You ever tried to eat a lemon? It sours your face up. That's what it makes you look like. Subject line on emails. No, nah, that's pretty much self-explanatory. There's your know-it-alls. I don't care too much for know-it-alls. It used to be the dumbass disorder and the deadhead disorder, but this now high schools are putting out people that didn't build the space shuttle. They created the space shuttle. I don't know what high schools are doing now, but they're putting out people now that think they know everything. And I hate to tell you, you don't. Packing up materials, that's rude. Don't do it. Sometimes I get wound up. Sometimes I get wound up when I'm teaching, and I do go overboard. So sometimes all you got to do is say, Hubert, it's about, it's about time to go. Okay. As long as you do that, just don't start doing the zipper thing and the book thing. That's just rude. Okay? Um, what I like in my class, I like for you to interact. If I ask a question, I'm not asking the question just to ask it. I want you to answer it. Okay? If I say, what is the square root of 25? I want somebody to say positive or negative 5. Okay? Positive attitude. Okay? Now, that don't mean be jumping off, bouncing off the walls or anything. You know, like, what's her name? That chick on Ripley, or what's her name? Ripa? Oh, no. I don't, no, don't, no. No. I don't want you, like, bouncing off the walls like that. I just want you to have a positive attitude, okay? Sense of humor, personality, and good work ethic. Supplies. Make sure you bring whatever you need. Calculator. We will use a TI-83 or better, so make sure you have one. And that's on a syllabus also. So that's a little bit about my class. Read over it if you got any questions, ask me. Okay. A little bit about me. Now, a lot of people say, well, why do I want to know about you? Well, I don't really care. The reason I do this is for two reasons. One reason is so to take care of the excuse, oh, I didn't know how to get in touch with you. Second reason is I used to do an exercise a long time ago where I used to hand out index cards, and you used to write down five things, and I did this, and we all see, you know, how much we had in common with each other. You know, everybody's got something in common with somebody else, okay? I did that until some snowflake or complained that I was asking. I only asked for, this is what I was asking for. Where do you work and what shift do you work? Um, that was because a lot of people worked back then, and I wanted to know if you worked third shift because you were sleeping in class. I know that. Favorite color? Where'd you go to high school? Um What's your favorite genre of music? And I asked one or two other favorite type. And I did that. We'd mix the cards up, and then we'd pass it around, and we'd read the, we'd read the uh, answers and try to guess the person. And somebody complained. Okay, so I quit doing it. Anyway, the reason I did it is because the most important thing in a classroom is a learning environment. How many of you have ever been in a classroom where you didn't feel comfortable? Okay? Now, first and second day, you're probably not going to feel comfortable with me because I'm doing the drill instructor routine. Okay? 
But after the first and second day, I do kind of, you know, we have fun. We, you know, tell jokes. We talk about people, you know, talk about other teachers. We have fun, okay? But you got to realize that I'm not going to put up with the high school junk. I'm not going to put up with that, okay? And I do that with all my classes, not just dual enrollment classes, all right? There's my email. The best way to contact me is through my cell phone, calls, text, or call, and then my TCTC email account. Comes directly to my phone, and there's directions to my office. Why do I give you directions to my office? To take care of what? I didn't know where your office was. And if you look further, go here, you have the other question of when are you in your office? There's that. So now I've taken care of, I didn't know how to get in contact with you. I didn't know where your office was, and I didn't know what time you were in your office. So if you send me a text that says, when are you in your office, will you get a reply? No. Okay, so there it is. And the biggest problem we have with students, we give students material, and what do they do? They just put it in their notebook, and they never what? They never read it. So that's not my fault. And the this is just a little bit about me. I don't. I just put that on there because I've used this thing for the last twenty years. Okay. Um, I used to hand it out. I don't hand it out anymore because I just send it by email. But it's a little bit about me. That kind of helps you know that I'm not from some, you know, BFE University at BFE State. You know, I am from here. I'm from Anderson, and I grew up here. I went to Tri-County Tech, then transferred to Clemson after the Marine Corps. You know, I did all that, and there's two or three test questions on this sheet right here. So you might want to write that down, two or three test questions on the info sheet. So I've given you a couple of questions off the syllabus and a couple of questions off the info sheet. So there's four bonus questions right there. YouTube and ETC or whatever. That's how you go. Let's go to YouTube. Let's go there. Follow the directions. You type in Hubert McClure. Click on my name. Go to playlist. And here you can find any class I've taught for the last six years. Your class, here's yesterday's classes right there. Yesterday's class was Math 110, 2019-10, and 155, 2019-10. Your class will be called Math 120, Fall 2019-10. Today I will load it. It'll be called First Day. Just like if you go to Math 155, First Day, there it is. First Day Class Logistics. So therefore, you do not have... The excuse, oh, well, I didn't know what, what happened in class. I wasn't in class. Well, here's that excuse. If you ever meet somebody that's had my class and made a D or worse in my class, move away from them slowly because they either suffer from redneck disorder, lazy disorder, or deadhead disorder, one of the three, okay? I'm serious. It is impossible to make below a C in my class. It's impossible. So if you ever meet somebody like that, just pray that they don't procreate or have a driver's license. Okay? I'm serious. And you can go, if you want to see what my class is like, go to Math 120. I taught a night class last spring, last semester, before the uh, taught, I taught a morning. This was the other uh, dual enrollment class. So you can click on there. If you want to go, you can look at the first and second day. There's the first day. There's the second day. 
This is 1.1, 2.1 through 2.3. 2.1 through 2.4, and so on. So, you know, you, there is no reason for you not to do well in this class. So that's how to find the YouTube. Okay? So that's that. Skype. Is Skype and Skype for Business the same thing? No. Skype for Business is able to let people come into a conference, like a meeting. Skype is individual, like face, is it, what's face, FaceTime or whatever. I don't have a, I don't have a, I don't believe in iPhones, okay? I believe it's a scam. But anyway, they always charge you extra for this, charge you extra for this. They fall apart. I got an Android. But anyway, the Android doesn't have FaceTime. But FaceTime, or is that what it's called, FaceTime? My son has it. And my daughter has it because they have iPhones. But um, Skype is individual, where Skype for Business is groups. So uh, th this is what happens. A student says, oh, I'll just dial in with Skype. And they'll text me. They'll follow the directions here. They'll just use Skype. And they'll text me and say, Hubert, I want to join the 120 class. And give me your first name and last name. It says it right there. Okay? And they Jane Smith. And I go on Skype for Business, and I look up Jane Smith, and it says offline. Then what is, what's that telling me? It's telling me that you're using Skype, not Skype for Business. Because if you're online, like it says, make sure you're online, make sure you're logged in, then you text me. If you're logged in, it's going to have a little green dot beside your name if you're on Skype for Business. If you're not, it's going to have a white dot that says offline. If you're offline, you're texting me and telling me you're on Skype, you're on Skype, not Skype for Business. So you're going to tell on yourself if you do that. So don't do that. You have up to five to seven, I think it's five or seven, I can't remember, free installations of Office 365. When you install Office 365, Skype is not going to show up like a desktop icon. Go down to the little... Windows right here and type in Skype. And it should, well, it's not doing it right now because I already got it pulled up. But when you type in Skype, it'll pull it up. You can drag it over to the desktop. Okay, Skype for business. Okay, so make sure you get on YouTube. Make sure you know how to navigate around my channel. Make sure you download Office. Okay, follow the directions. And now let's talk about <laughs> Blackboard. Okay, how many of you have used Blackboard at Tri-County Tech? Okay, how well does it work? Not what? Not very well. Not very well. I do not use Blackboard, but for some reason, Tri-County Tech wants you to go through Blackboard in every one of your classes. I don't know why. So with, with my classes, you have to go through the My Lab Plus link. I don't know why, but I tell students to try going to that link right there. One or two of y'all have already logged on. Who, who's logged on to My Labs Plus? You did. Did you go to the, did you go to My Labs Plus? No, I followed the link that was on there. Which one? The one on the bottom right there. Yeah, TCTC My Labs Plus. Okay, did you have any trouble? No. Did you type in your username or, I mean, your password or a T number? T number. Okay, so that may be a way to do that, okay? Um, when you go to My Labs Plus, try typing your T number in for the password instead of your password if you've changed it. it that may help you. It oh. wouldn't let it, it wouldn't let my password. Okay, that's it. Thank you. So when you go to My Labs Plus, use your T number, capital T, for the password. Okay? And that way you won't have to worry about Blackboard. When does Blackboard always go up down? It always goes down the beginning of the semester, middle of the semester, and guess when? You're in finals. So I don't use it. My boss always says, why don't you use Blackboard? Because it never works. And because high schoolers can hack into it. Okay? That's why I don't use it. One day, Tri-County Tech will get up with technology. Maybe 2050. But we'll get there eventually. Any questions about that? Now, I'm going to give you all a couple of days to get registered on to MyLabs Plus, mainly because Blackboard is not working right. Okay, I just got I just sent an email 
telling somebody to get the classes working because I got students trying to hit that link, you know, my labs plus link, it's not working. So try to go through the PCTC, okay? Capiche? All right, next one. Uh, there's one more, I think I called it academic calendar. Let's see if I can find it. Academic calendar. I guess I'll just go over to another class. Hold on just a second. Academic calendar. There it is. I thought I saw it. Yeah. Okay, academic calendar. What does the academic calendar tell you? It tells you when you need to come to class. Okay? There's the dates. There's two questions off of the academic calendar. And I'll tell you what they are. Last day of class for this class is Tuesday when? December 3rd. Write that down. Oh, that's just a James. What? Yeah, that's yeah, that's another that's like a May mist or whatever. Make sure you write that down. That's a test question. Another test question. Exams for this class. Fourth through the tenth. I give online exams. You got the whole week. You got two times to take it. I'll go over that last week of class. I give you one week to take your test and three times on regular test and two times on the final. That takes care of the five-day grandma funerals, takes care of the family reunions, the four flat tires, whatever y'all come up with because y'all have got all kinds of excuses. Don't come to me at the end of the semester like one high school student and said, oh, I didn't, I, I, I was on a vacation and I went on a cruise and they didn't have, they didn't have online. Is that my problem? When, when, let me ask you a question. I want to ask you just one question. I'm going to ask somebody where they work. Where do you work? By the back row. Yeah. Where do you work? Okay. Anybody want back row work? Where do you work? Starbucks. Starbucks. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, if you, let's say you want to take off and go to Miami Beach next week. What happens if you don't call work? You get fired. Wow. That's, that's, that's mean, isn't it? No, it's not. Same thing for your work, for your, for your school. Your employer is your teacher, no matter what class you're in. I actually have students that tell me after they go on vacation, that they missed the test. And they expect me to let them take the test. And I don't. Okay? That'd be like you asking for your job after you took a week off and didn't tell them. Same concept. But, the, the, of course, this student knew that, but they were trying to get by. They were trying to get over on the teacher. And, of course, here comes helicopter parent. Calling my department head. My department head said nothing she could do about it. Student missed the test. And it's kind of hard to complain about a teacher that gives you a whole week to take a test. Think about that. How do you miss a test and you have a whole week? Always remember, see me before you leave somewhere. That's a test question also. That a lot of my test questions, it's about six or eight come from the handouts. The other six or eight come from DA students. And you know what DA stands for, right? Okay. Dumb attitude. I offended a snowflake when I was called a dumb ass. You know, an ass is a mule. I mean, a donkey. But, you know. Anyway, a DA student. I had one DA student that said, this is what they said, oh, I didn't know you got a zero when you didn't turn in homework. <laughs> yeah. You see who I have to deal with? I mean, you're just plain out lying when you tell me that you've been through 12 years of school and you don't know that a missed assignment is a zero. Now you're insulting my intelligence. Okay. So those DA questions, you got, you got about five or six of those you got about five or six from the handouts. So if you got 25 questions on a test and you get 10 of those, that's 40 points. You see why it's 
impossible to fail my class. It's impossible. Do I have people that fail my class? Yes. Okay, let's go have some fun. Now. Wait a minute, I got one more and then we're going to have some fun. Got one more and that is My Labs Plus. This is what happened. This is the this is the handout that you need to use if you're having trouble. Now, I've already told you how to bypass that. The trouble is Blackboard. So bypass Blackboard. Go to tctc.mylabsplus.com and type in your username, H. McClure, B. Smith, 3, J. Jones, 5, whatever it is, and then type in your T number with a capital T. Okay. What's your what's your username? D Richard. Okay, so you would type in D Richard and then your T number, and hopefully, because you're the only one that's on there right now, so evidently that worked. Okay. Now, if you have trouble, there's two email addresses to contact. Okay, but try to go through the website first because we can count off Blackboard until maybe next week. They might have it up and running. Okay, so let's just plan on going through. If you have a problem, let me know. And if I can't help you, then I'll tell you to let them two know. But most of the time, it should work. We'll talk about it Thursday, okay? Just, just these, these next two days is nothing but classroom and my lab plus. I don't want you to spaz. We got plenty of time. It also tells you to go to the, the just ignore this right now because Blackboard don't work and never does. Okay. Rate my professor. How many of you went to rate my professor? Did you find out something on your teachers? Good. It's a great thing, isn't it? If you get anybody below a two, two or below, get the hell out. <laughs> now you can say, oh, well, I'm a smart. Get the hell out. Get another class. Get another course, take art appreciation instead of music appreciation, do it. You only got between today and what? Tomorrow before you can drop, right? I think you can change today and tomorrow or yesterday and today. So anybody want to pull up one? I didn't hear you. Mary Clark. Okay, how do you spell that? I think it's uh, M-A-R-Y-N-P-A-R-R. Okay, hold on. Well, you're supposed to have supposed to have oh there it is, all my professors. Okay, what's the what is it how you spell it? M A R Y M A R Y. M A that's all right. I'm confident I can handle it. Mary. Okay, give me your last name. Well, we're going to go look at me. No, there she is. Okay. All right. Now, let's talk about these ratings. All right. If you've got a teacher that's been at Tri-County Tech for a good number of years and you don't know, and they only got three ratings, and they haven't told their students about rating my professor. There's a, there's a reason right there. Okay. She's got a 2.9. What does she teach? English. English. So let's look. I don't know her. Let's see if they're accurate. <laughs> Awful. I do not recommend PAR for instructor and anyone. She goes extremely off topic, blah, 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 blah. She has a terrible attitude. Awesome. She wrote that one. Uh, overall good. I suggest that you make sure to pay attention. Okay. Great teacher. If she is teaching a class, take it. I can't tell you what to do on that one. You've got three people telling you three different things. So I don't know. The only thing I can tell you is she's got two positives and she's still got a 2.9. You might want to switch. You might want to have a plan B. Yeah. All right, who's got another one? Um, Green? Yeah. What does she teach? English. I'm looking. There she is. Where? Oh, there. K. 
Right here? She's only got she's only got eight ratings. Let's see. gum. Somebody wanted to know. All right, here we go. Awesome. Now, another thing. If somebody writes one sentence and it's like five lines long and they spell cat, K-A-T, and pain, P-A-N-E, then I would probably throw that one out, okay? <laughs> because they don't know how to write and don't know how to spell. So you need to remember that too. This was a true teacher. May seem a little stern, but what she taught me in English 100 actually ensured I received an A in English 101. Take the class. I love them, this teacher. <laughs> Okay. The only class I didn't want to show up for ever. <laughs> this class was horrible. I was dissatisfied. This woman has no idea what she's doing. Okay, so this is what I would do here. You've got you've got five or six, you've got eight ratings. I would look at the grammar and the rating and the ratings and see if the person actually knows what they're talking about. There's some more, isn't there? No, there's no more. There's just... But you just got a 2.5. I would have a plan B. There's three categories. There is stay in the class, have a plan B, get the hell out. <laughs> right now, you've got a plan B and you got a plan B. I would be looking up schedules if I was y'all too. Who? Eps? You say Eps? Yes. What do they teach? English. That gum. Y'all worried about y'all's English teachers, aren't you? Eps. Lori? Yes. She only got two and they're 4.0. So that's a double edged sword. But laid back professor I've ever had. <laughs> nice instruct. Nice. You know, nice. That's not a good word. There's always a but that comes behind nice. Nice, but. Okay, so you only got two to go on, but it, I would much rather have two and have a five or a four than have a 2.5 or a 2.3. So I would probably stay in this one. Oh, one more. Let's make fun of one more. What's the last name? Davis. Davis. She's got, okay, now this one's good. She's got over 10 ratings, and she's got a 3.2. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, you did? Because of this? Yeah. Very work intense. Very tough grader. Ooh. Terrible levels. Not too good right now. Worst teacher ever. <laughs> Worst teacher ever. Okay, so I would probably... I would read all of them. Did you read all of them? Yeah, I dropped Okay, well, I didn't have a choice. That's awful. I didn't have a choice. All right, one more. That's it. One more. No. 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 I'm scared to death to look at mine. I'm not going to look at mine. I'm sorry. I'm not. One more. No. Okay, give me one more, Blank. teacher. Blank. Who? Blank. That's a name? <laughs> That's worse than being named Hubert. <laughs> Blank. Blank. I don't see her. She's right, Dave. Three point eight. Oh. 11 ratings. She's got eleven ratings at three point eight. She is much like an elementary school teacher. She is strict but a fair grader. And you know, a fair grader is not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing at all. Very upfront what she expects. Okay, no cell phones. So she's one of those cardiac arrest people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't do that. 
extremely nice. You know, you always see a butt behind nice. But anyway, do not procrastinate. Well, you don't procrastinate because that's when Murphy's Hall Law hits. She gives out a lot of work. You have to actually work hard. Wow. wow. Yeah, you have to work hard. I, I would stay in there if I was you. 3.8, that's pretty good. So that's what you need to do. You need to go to rate my professor, and I'm serious. If it's a 2 to a 3, you might want to have a plan B. If it's a below a 2, 2 or below, <laughs> get the hell out. <laughs> okay, has anybody got questions for me so far on anything we covered so far? All right, let's go to My Labs Plus. This is what My Labs Plus looks like. And I'm going to cover a lot of my labs plus for you Thursday. Okay? We're going to go into the homework, go into the test. I'll pull up a sample test, show you how it looks. Okay? But this is what it looks like. So you would type in your username. Mine is H. McClure. And then my, oops, hold on. And then my T number. And this is what it will look like. Now, of course, yours won't have 15 classes on it, okay? But yours will have your classes that you use My Labs Plus. Y'all are Math 120 right here. That's what it will look like. You click on it. And for those people that didn't get the email, whatever, there are, there's a syllabus, class courtesies, uh, my info, my locator card, YouTube and Skype, academic calendar. Also, this is one I haven't covered. Forwarding your TCTC email to your cell phone. Click on that, print it out. It shows you how to send your TCTC email to your phone. And if you're going to be a student at BFE, wherever, college, you need to do this because the days of Oh, I didn't check my email. Those days went out 2001, 2003, okay? You're expected to check your email. If you don't, then teachers make fun of you, okay? It's, it's not cute anymore. You have to check your email. And it only takes once or twice when I cancel class. And the DAs show up, and they just sit here, and sit here for 10 minutes and look at a blank board and then they go downstairs and complain to the front desk. And the front desk already knows that I'm not going to be here. So they're going to say, you didn't check your email? And you came all the way up here and you came sat in class because you didn't check your email. Like I said, that went out in 2001, 2003. It's 2020. We actually have rovers on Mars. Get with the program, okay? Any questions? There's the, all the handouts, okay? Now, like I said, the first unit test is going to be Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3. 80% of your test is going to come from Chapter 3, okay? Chapter 3 is the math. Chapters 1 and 2 is reading. After Thursday, I will start going through. You can watch the second and third day of class. You'll start to see how I do the reading chapter. I don't sit here and read to you. This ain't reading time. I go through and I pick out the terms that's going to be on the test. And I tell you to highlight it, and we talk about it and explain it. Then when we get to Chapter 3, I go into the mathematics. Okay? All right, who's got questions for me? Everybody understands everything I went over today. No questions whatsoever. Yeah. Whatever. I'm going to go to the handy-dandy. Now, just because I'm taking the roll does not mean pack up your stuff and be rude, okay? So just sit tight. I'm going to go over the, I'm going to do that, and then we'll see if there's any questions. Can't believe nobody's 
I know, there's usually one or two students that have heard something about my class. I know one person has. Nobody over here? Okay, now you're now you're going to tell the truth. So, um, my mom said you're really nice because you were, oh, did you teach at Westlaw? No. She's long, though. She's probably something different. Who's your, who's your mom? Heather Chandler. Chandler. She wasn't a student of mine? I, she said she was, but... Well, okay, what was the one word she uh, described to class? Well, she said you were a good teacher. Oh, okay. What'd you hear? Uh, you teach my sister, Morgan Malcolm. Oh, okay. Was she she graduated yet? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> She's a failure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tell her I said that. She'll know what it means. I will. What did she describe to class? Uh... That you were definitely an exciting teacher. <laughs> exciting? I've never heard that before. Who, what, who heard something over here? Yeah, you said you were really fair and you didn't like slackers. I didn't like slackers. Yeah, I don't. Anybody hear anything over here? What'd you hear? Uh, do you remember Reagan Reed? Yeah. Yeah, Reagan told me that you, you were just a cool teacher. Well, I appreciate that. Is she graduated yet? No. She sucks. Just tell her that. Tell her she should quit. Tell her it's easy to quit. Hey, where's she at now? Clemson. Huh? She works at Clemson? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was I thought you said your sister. No, really did read. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> When I, when I hear Reagan, I think of it as a female. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, tell him he sucks. Where is he working? I don't know. He, he's, uh, I, think, I guess he's at Clemson now. I think oh. he's playing baseball. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> tell him, hey, tell him he's, tell him he's quit. <laughs> Anybody else? Tell him his name is weird. No, I'm just kidding. I was in a play with you when I was five years old. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Which one? Uh, Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. I was lying, believe it or not. That's a munchkin. Okay, you are. Hold on, Miss Bannister. No. Not Miss Bannister. What's your last name? Burris. Burris. I'm sorry. I need to start it with a B. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yes, your sister. You have two sisters, right? Yeah. Y'all were all in that one, weren't you? Mm -hmm. Y'all were a munchkin. You were a munchkin, weren't you? I was. Yeah. Anybody else? So. I didn't hear anybody saying that I'm a bastard or anything, so that's good. I mean, like, I've heard this. <laughs> oh, here it is. What? What'd you hear? I mean, like, a lot of people have told me that, like, every single math teacher here just sucks. So, like, I was... <laughs> okay, now let's, let's think about that. Somebody told you that every single math teacher at Tri-County Tech sucks. Where did they take their math? Did they take it at Anderson? Yeah. Wow. That's the first I've heard. Well, you're going to fail now. I'm going to give you a <laughs> death. Now, what's your last name? I'm going to fail. <laughs> no, you're not. I can guarantee you you're not going to fail my class. Do you know how hard it is? It, you will see it's very difficult to fail my class. I'm going to make you priority. You're going to be the valedictorian of this class. All right, anybody else hear anything besides that every teacher at Tri-County sucks? I, I, would, I would suggest that you might want to get some other people to hang around because of every, every one of your people that... So they really suck at math because I know at least I will say that two of our teachers really do suck. Okay, I will say that. But that's two out of 15 or 20 math teachers. That's that's too much of a blanket statement. You're gonna have you're gonna have bad teachers in every subject, every subject. But to say that every single teacher sucks, I I would I would I would really Question the source there. Whoever your source is, I would question the source. Okay. And that's me admitting that we have bad teachers, but not everybody. All right, 120. Where is 120? There you are. Today is Tuesday. 
Okay. Ayer. Here. Bowman. Here. Broadwater. Here. Burris is here. Carty. Here. Chandler. Here. Devlin. Here. Donald. Here. Fetters. Here. Uh, Gordon. Here. Are you Gordon? What's your last name? My my project back there. Okay, I want to. Oh, now that name I can remember. <laughs> Least name Reagan. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Hudson. Here. Johnson. Here. Leduc. Yeah. Link. Here. Little. Here. Malcolm. Here. McGregor. Here. Murray. Here. Nixon. Here. Pendergrass. Here. Rapp. Here. Richardson. Here. Simpson. Here. Taylor. Here. Williamson. Here. Wright. Here. And worst. Here. Okay, anybody else got any questions or comments about the class? I'll, I'll, I'll take it off of, uh, that way y'all can speak more freely. I'll take it off record.